One of nature's unassuming marvels is moss. They possess remarkable air cleaning properties, absorbing and trapping pollutants from the atmosphere, essentially acting as a living air filter on our planet. Today, I am unboxing the Petit Foy, a product that attempts to harness the power of natural moss in the form of an indoor air purifier. The company Resume has sent me a sample unit to review and put together a video about its assembly and usage. The product comes as a DIY kit and the parts are packed in separate inner cartons inside an outer carton. The packing is neat and I feel it provides adequate protection to the product during transit. The product comes with five main parts. It consists of the main unit which looks pretty solid, a high quality extra clear tempered glass cover, a cap to go on top of the glass cover, a hydration module that houses the misting mechanism and the moss module which features trapezoid patches of moss arranged in a circular plastic tray. The company has included a set of tools in the kit. It includes a mist dispenser, a pair of tweezers and a pair of trimmers. I believe these are mainly for the handling, care and maintenance of the moss. Also included is a 24 volt power adapter along with a socket converter to run the appliance. The quick start guide provided with the product is self-explanatory. It has all the information with clear illustrations. I am pretty sure this DIY assembly is going to be easy and fun. So let's get to work. The main unit consists of a base and a central tower. There is a vent in the front for the passage of air. The details of the manufacturer and product are at the bottom of this unit. The power supply connector is at the back of the unit and out of vision from the front. Placing the moss trays on the main unit is the first step of the assembly. The moss species used here is Racometrium canescens, commonly known as hoary fringe moss. It is in a dried up and dormant stage at the moment and will revive once it comes into contact with moisture. I remove debris of the moss and lightly brush off dust that is sitting on the tray before I place it on the main unit. The next tray is placed on top of this one, taking care to align the grooves of the tray in the correct orientation. I proceed to stack up the remaining three trays in the same way. I notice that the trays are positioned in an alternate fashion which to me looks quite interesting. The hydration module houses the mist mechanism and has a connector at the base. It is gently locked in position by aligning the connectors of the main unit and the hydration tray. Time now to add the glass cover to the unit. The rubber gasket helps it to sit snugly over the main unit, eliminating the possibility of any air gap. The cap is the last part of the assembly and will sit over the hydration tray. It will close the top of the cover but also allow passage of air through vents built into its rim. I plug in the adapter and turn on the switch. The LED lights on the tower blinks five times and becomes steady. The fan inside the unit turns on with a low hum. Following instructions of the quick start guide, I proceed to add water onto the cap of the Petit Foy, ensuring the level of water does not exceed the max line mark. Tapping the top of the glass cover two times turns on the mist. It flows downwards inside the enclosure, creating an ethereal scene instantly. It is so fascinating that I cannot stop myself from watching the mist flow down like a waterfall as the moss slowly starts coming to life. Tapping the glass cover two times again stops the flow of the mist. And tapping the glass cover four times will turn off the lights. I also noticed that the mist automatically stops and restarts after every one minute. This ensures that the enclosure is not completely fogged up and visuals are restored at one minute intervals. The manufacturer recommends to run the mist mode with a two hour interval as it may lead to overwatering the moss. The manufacturer also advises keeping the unit turned on at all times to keep the internal fan running so that there is no buildup of humidity and stagnant air which can lead to mold growth inside the petit foy. If the power supply is disconnected for a longer duration, then it is advised to completely remove the moss from the unit. The Petit Foy app is also available on Android and iOS. 
It really makes operating the unit a breeze. I observed that tapping the glass may not always produce the desired results if you happen to tap late or tap it lightly. The app is a much better way to operate the unit in my view and provides the user some additional controls as well like light brightness, fan speed and auto light off after 2 hours. I do not have access to equipment that can test the quality of the air in my room. But sitting close to the unit, I do feel a sense of freshness in the air. I'm pretty sure it is also improving the humidity levels of my relatively dry room. Overall, I think it's a beautiful and innovative product and I'm really enjoying the look and feel of it. The Petit Foy does bring in the essence of a misty and mossy forest floor into my living space.